Key savings in this year's budget is about $150,000 for the majority of support. Our employees are paying $800,000 towards the premiums of health care. We saw the million dollar reduction in our debt service and our library costs, which is a separate tax on the tax bill for our residents um, because it's an equalized ratio with Marshtown uh, that's swinging in our favor. That number is going to go down about $54,000, which is about 4 or $5 per household to our residents for that. These are our anticipated revenues uh, to come up with our budget number, maintaining that just under $5 million towards fund balance um, to keep it stable. Our miscellaneous revenues that are coming in, such as uh, permits and fees, hotel tax, our state aid is coming out to $5.6 million. Uh, delinquent taxes that come in late are about $600,000. And then what I'm most proud of this year is the local tax of 22 million five hundred and thirteen thousand dollars is actually six thousand dollars less than last year so it's coming in the tax levy for our residents is coming in basically flat what i'm most proud of also is that the work done by our assessor's office and construction office over the last several years with bringing on added assessments for new construction everything else they brought in about 33 million dollars in added assessments and what that does is now it's a bigger pie to split with all of our residents and even though we're raising the same amount of taxes the average taxpayer is going to pay $45 less because of that work done with that $33 million. And then we have the library tax, which is $1.64 million um, to bring us to the 35.274. On our appropriations, the biggest thing is our salary and wages for the employees is 13.36. It's about $285,000 uh, above last year. Our O and E operating expenses, uh, 8.86 million. It's up about $72,000 over last year. We did make some major cuts in the operating expenses to offset uh, the medical expenses as we went through it. And our statutory expenses of pensions and Social Security at $3.5 million. Uh, capital improvements, that's our 5% down payment money on the $2.1 million for, that we will eventually go out the bond for. Plus we added in just under Four hundred thousand, about three hundred fifty thousand dollars of projects out of capital improvement that we would pay directly for. Our debt service of three million, and then the reserve for uncollected tax of three point six million. Um, the deferred charges are um, our uh, tax appeal payment, where we went out back in two thousand twelve on a five year of five hundred sixty eight thousand. We're in year four of that. We have ninety three thousand dollars towards Hurricane Irene for an emergency appropriation. We're in year five of that, so that will go away. And then the remaining 160000 is from the uh, revaluation with the emergency appropriation two years ago. We're now in year two uh, of, of five for that one. As you know, we, we collect all the taxes, but the taxes that are collected, only 24% goes towards municipal services. The majority goes to the school district approximately 60 cents on the dollar, 15 cents on the dollar goes to the county, and one cent goes to the library. Highlights of the, of the budget, and these are the, you know, the big numbers where we could have come in, um, and Mrs. Dolan uh, explained this before with the cap bank. We are $4.4 million below the appropriations cap that we could have raised. Um, we are seeing a tax rate decrease. Um, we're $4.3 million below the 2% tax levy cap. Um, this all equates out to a reduction of about $45 for the average homeowner whose house is appraised at $560,000. As I said, maintaining our infrastructure and our buildings is very important. Um, every year we find several roads that need a total reconstruction um, and looking forward to that. And then we also applied to the DOT for grants. Um, on the list this year is Kadena Road and um, although it's about a six to $700,000 project, we're going to get $172,000 from uh, the state of New Jersey to help us with that project. We'll also do being a road reconstruction project for the O-Plane and uh, Kind of worth road uh, for that. We'll be doing drainage projects throughout the township. We'll be doing some improvements to our buildings. 
Um, we have a significant number of <coughs> utility improvements. The biggest one is um, over the next two years, we're going to appropriate $5 million without going into debt out of the sewer utility to provide sewer service for the Skyline Drive Rolling Hill neighborhood. Um, so that's the big one that's coming um, in the next two years through them. The swim pool has already been funded for the reconstruction. The reconstruction of Ginty, uh, Streeter Pool is just about completed, um, and that will be opening up this summer, and then we'll be completing the renovation of the two pools. Um, we have some minor things that are amenities such as electrical surcharges, pool covers, um, ADA accessibility that will be going into this year's budget for that. Also looking to purchase equipment and some of that equipment that we do is Department of Public Works trucks. Um, we are looking, you know, this year we're scheduled to go into phase three for the trash collection and we've made the decision, the committee's made the decision to expand that into our recycling <coughs> and we'll be implementing that program um, next year. Um, with funding from this year's budget towards implementing uh, the automated trash uh, collection system for recycling. And then some of the road improvements that previously funded but that will be taking place today, this year are the reconstruction of Picatinny Road, uh, Blackwell Avenue, which is currently under construction, Normandy Heights Road, um, Western Avenue Culvert. It's on the agenda for tonight for the award of the contract improvements to the Collinsville Playground. This is our municipal debt. Um, I could ask Mrs. Dolan to come up and she would tell you that we could probably go up to around $200 million or so, yeah. <laughs> but I won't ask her that question. <coughs> but it's always been the philosophy of the Township Committee to um, only incur debt of what we're going to retire. Um, and we've done that consistently. And as we did last year, we came in about $300,000 below that. We're going to do that again this year where um, we're retiring about $2.4 million and we're going to take on about $2.1 million worth of debt. So continuing that downward trend of reducing debt. Three years ago, um, we were able to come up with a policy that the sewer utility uh, would be debt free. And we're in year three of that and we're funding all of our projects through capital improvement fund from user fees. Um, and so we have about $4.5 million worth of projects this year and able to maintain that without going into debt. Um, the swim pool will go down. It's a 10 year for the two notes, uh, the two bonds for the swim pool, and it goes down about $350,000 a year uh, towards that and bringing that number down. And our parking utility is the same as the sewer. Um, we did some major projects and renovations last year, but moving forward, we should be able to take any care capital projects. Um, through user fees and that we collect for the train station. You know, in addition to the current budget, we have three utilities that are part of the budget, um, or have their own separate budgets. Sewer so utility is about three, I'm sorry, $11.4 million. Um, as I said, $4.5 million of that is in, in capital projects, and the remaining uh, seven million, just under $7 million in operating expenses for that. Parking lot utility is about 350000 That's all selling wages and operating expenses. And then the swim pool utility um, is 918000 About $350,000 of that is debt, and the remainder is the operating expenses for the pools. So and parking utilities have always operated a surplus, um, and certainly expect them to continue. The swim pool has been operating at a surplus. Uh, for salary and wages and operating expenses and certainly you expect that to continue also into the future. One of the things that we maintain is what I would call um, a very healthy fund balance. Um, it's important to avoid, to maintain this health, this uh, fund balance that ensures it's an, like an insurance policy. It's like having, you know, rainy day money so with, uh, you know, living paycheck to paycheck that if something major happens that you're able to temporarily fund it and also avoid any major tax spikes that come along, maintain our tax levy cap at 2%. Um, if we have any major incidents like we did in the past years with Hurricane Irene, Hurricane Sandy, the October snowstorm, we have money available um, for those cleanups and emergency repairs. And then also dealing with our, our tax appeals. That's just a, 
of our fund balance history, and as you can say, we maintain that fund balance, which is important to fiscal responsibility. Um, as we move forward, that we're just not using fund balance and, and strictly relying on that. So, um, the numbers have been coming in very good at the end of the year, and then maintaining about five million dollars towards the next year's budget. This is the important slide uh, for our residents, what they paid on the average home in 2014, 2015, and what we expect them to uh, pay in, in taxes for this year. Um, the numbers that are set are the municipal, the open space, and the library. The county number and the school are projected rates. They will be certified in um, July by the tax board. Uh, but in discussions with the school board and the county um, and reviewing their budgets, um, we can project with their assistance what the tax rate is going to be. Um, it usually comes in very, very close to that. Um, for the county, uh, although there is going to be an increase in the county uh, budget this year, um, we expect our county tax to be stable as we went through the revaluation. Our uh, equalized ratio when dealing with the school and dealing with the county is 106%. So we have a little bit of cushion with the county, and I expect that to negate any type of uh, increase from the county. With the school, we're seeing a reduction um, of what we pay of about $40 this year. What we have to look at with the school, they're on a different fiscal year than we are. We're on calendar year and they're on fiscal year. So we're going to see where we have a significant change in the ratio between um, the county, between us and Marstown towards paying the uh, tax levy for the school district. School, school district's going up just under 2%. It will continue to go up on 2% from year after year. If there wasn't a joint school district, our taxpayers would be seeing about $120 a year uh, increase on an annual basis. Um, pendulum has swung a little bit in our favor this year, and hopefully we'll continue to do so. so um, Overall, we're expecting our residents to see, on, our, on average, to see a decrease of about seventy to seventy-five dollars per household. Um, with, with forty-five of that coming from uh, the municipality and then the school district. <coughs> and as we do with every budget, we just don't budget for the current year. We're always looking down the road. Uh, two thousand seventeen. Uh, we see some challenges coming up. Uh, we expect that fund balance reduction number at the end of the year to go down. Um, we will see probably 2% on our, our salary and wage increases. Um, we have the tax appeal loan payment. Um, you know, we have our revenue projections. We're hoping that our revenue projections stay stable or increase. We don't expect any further decrease on that. The unknowns for us is the um, mandated things that come from the state. What is our state aid going to be? And also from uh, state health benefits plan, what is going to be the increase on our health benefits for next year? What are going to be the, the pension costs? Um, and then working with our different negotiated unit agreements, not only for labor, but with other contractors. Um, we provide services for the township um, as we move in from year to year or shared services, what those costs are going to be. So those will be the challenges for 17, and I'm sure we will be able to address them. And with that, I will conclude. Um, you know, it's a, a balance of you know providing the services and the infrastructure, and trying to keep uh, taxes uh, at a minimal uh, level for an increase, and uh, you know, doing the best with what we have, and uh, you know, providing those services and everything else for the So, with that, I will conclude and offer it up to any questions from the governing body.